Hello everybody, welcome to another Zabbix video. This time we are talking about Windows Server Monitoring or Windows Workstation Monitoring and um, also the Registry Monitoring. Uh, by using Zabbix Agent it's possible to query Registry with native capabilities. Uh, this is fairly new functionality, uh, only available for the last two years and today is uh, 2025 and not everyone is aware that uh, we can natively really like look into the registry and uh, query some uh, keys or some information. Uh, my use case here will be when uh, we when Microsoft detects that your operating system is out of uh, date uh, it kind of like recognize to do the patching and when that happens is suddenly the operating system will ask like please restart restart me so I can install the updates. So we will use Zabbix to detect the very second when the server asks like please restart me I, I'm kind of waiting for updates to be installed. Okay uh, and um, here is the Windows server and um, uh we can see also like the uh the like there is an icon uh, over uh, at the bottom of the page uh, something is a little bit wrong here uh yeah here uh, the windows server and uh, on the system tray there is an icon like you your device needs to restart to install updates select time to restart so this is what Zabbix is about to detect, like this indication that uh, kind of uh, the updates has been queued up and it waits for restart to happen. And I know this use case for a very long time uh, and uh, it's possible to query registry in s if we uh, enter the Windows registry. Uh, the global settings here, hotkey local machine, uh, expand the software expand Microsoft, then uh, expand Windows, then uh, go to the current version here, expand, and then uh, Windows uh, updates, something like that. Uh, Windows update, update, and we expand here, and there is a, a folder auto update when we expand. Uh, there, this is the, the position where we will query the indication, and I can tell you that Usually, this folder does not exist, uh, this uh, subsection, reboot required. It will pop up always only when the operating system can kind of like demands for the reboot. reboot. So what do you need to do with Zabbix? Like we need to query this position, auto update, and ask like, is there a, a keyword reboot required behind this uh, like position? Okay, so right now I will um, let's 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 start to design the template. Uh, opening the Zabbix, going to the data collection templates and uh, create new template. Let's set it like reboot required Windows, and this will be modules. Click enter. Now visiting the items, create new item and uh, I will use active checks and there is like item key regist registry.get okay so this is the item key and, and as I said it's not so available in 5.0 but in the latest minor uh, 6.0 agent it becomes like available and now like the the key let's erase all the arguments over here and here in the double quotes, um, we need to put that address, that path where to query the registry. Visiting the Windows Server, and we can like uh, steal this URL, or I can click over here, copy key name, click, visiting the front end, and put the key name over here, paste, and this is the position to query. Uh, okay, I will like this is um, I'm I'm guiding more like in a thought process I will not directly immediately sh uh, show the the complete solution but let's see what happens uh, what we, when we query this key so auto update click uh, and uh, okay add now uh, I, I did put 
uh, update frequency every one day. Uh, that will work fine uh, in the 7.0 because we have incremental updates. Uh, agent will notice that this item has never been fetched and I can just I link the template. Uh, this is using active checks, no host IP address, update. And like after 20 seconds, this item will start to receive the data. Click and it's already there. Let's uh, click and visiting here. And um, so this is the output, like agent was able to fetch the data, fetch the registry. And um, like if we, uh, there is like quite a, an information and uh, probably we don't want to fetch such uh, like so much text in every one minute. Maybe it's fine to query every one hour, but not every one minute. If I search like this keyword reboot required, the indication is there, like that's half of a victory, like this is a, a good start to identify that server needs to be restarted. Now going back to the co item configuration, we have more alternative ways to do when we, let's clone this guy, clone, and while seeing the documentation of that registry get, control F, registry dot get, uh, click, uh, if we click this question mark over here, we can see read more about mode, the second argument. Click and we see the mode is the default is values, which sounds like quite a lot of information and the not default is the keys. So let's try the keys. Uh, OK, close the documentation and uh, I did clone them the thing and comma keys. And I will put here auto update keys. Uh, still, the metric will fetch every one minute, uh, I mean, every one day. Add. And now we uh, have two items like one is fetching values, one is fetching only keys. And let's see uh, what is the output of the keys. And man, it's it works so fast. <laughs> the, the, the agent is going through the proxy, but it, it was able to report the data. Now the item keys, it's uh, less information. And if we query that uh, reboot required, it's still there. So that's that's uh, like half of victory again, uh, or, or even more than half. I will copy this also to the notepad for later use. Click. And now we need to come up with the full solution. Uh, like this is the indication. That's great. And we see like this is the JSON. That's also great. And uh, how about like using JSON path to query what kind of um, uh, element in the JSON tree holds the last sub key uh, with the value reboot required? OK, to do so, uh, I would recommend to uh, create dependent item. Uh, it's useful uh, in terms of like troubleshooting whenever it's not working, we can enable the um, like historical data for the raw input item. Uh, by the way, I will remove the second one over here, delete. I don't want that text to be queried anymore. And let's create dependent item, create. And um, right uh, at the beginning, uh, let's use like um, this keyword, uh, reboot required, okay, like this and pre-processing and there is like a JSON path. Uh, I will use my cheat sheet and the JSON path is this. Uh, so what practically it does, it kind of iterates through all of the elements inside the JSON um, like array and look looks where the last sub key equals this guy. Let's try to simulate right away. Uh, here we can put the value this is our raw value, which was reported by the latest data page. Click apply and test. And now it's like from that big input, like here we have quite a lines. Uh, we see like the line starts somewhere. If you search for full key, like one, two, three, four, five, like a lot of things, but only one is holding this reboot required. OK, so it's like so close, like it's it's already capturing that uh, it, it's there. And all we need to do is like count how many of these lines uh, have been found. And there is actually a native functionality uh, to do so. Uh, we can 
do do here like um, uh, linked uh, like this like this and when we test again test uh, I think I spelled incorrectly always do this word and this is the correct okay click and click and it reports one let's try to the other way like uh, like if we seek for a wrong pattern reboot required free and test like it does not found uh, reboot required test uh, I mean reboot required free in, in this text so uh, this JSON path go gives good value uh, uh, to, to solve the problem and actually the outcome is integer now I can switch here numerical unsigned and job done okay add and uh, now I have two item keys the last thing would be create a trigger create a trigger add select the input point reboot required if it is bigger than zero uh, then it's immediately like um, uh, yeah and uh, I would call uh, this trigger please restart me how nice like uh, so the host name will be already in in the email or in uh, the you you know already see the origin where the problem comes and the the server is asking please re restart me um, and that it that's it uh, add uh, now I will try to reboot the server right now uh, with uh, like with the option to install the updates maybe I will regret that if it no, does not reboot back in a uh, very short time frame then uh, we will not see how it is disappearing but let's try and um, yeah update uh, here I will set it more aggressive every five seconds so it's fetching uh, let's see if the um, agent recognizes this new frequency and if it detects the problem and indeed it detects the problem uh, if we see inside that um, latest uh, I mean the problems page click uh, this host object is saying like please restart me 11 seconds ago okay uh, now I will try to restart to like risk my my <laughs> video recording to restart uh, update and restart click okay it's going down and while it's restarting and installing the updates I will uh, just uh, entertain you that there is another way more uh, aggressive way to uh, not do the JSON path we could possibly also do um, here uh, we can really go even use the plain regex uh, usually when we use the regex we do something like select something and then we uh, print the group one uh, and uh, in a such way but we could also like uh, not do the grouping just plainly use uh, regular expression look for the keyword and uh, even if it's fine like don't extract the group one or or, uh, or everything which match the thing you can tell like uh, if it finds then let's print the number one and if it fails to find then let's like replace that thing to the zero uh, so let's try to crash test this over here uh, putting the input this is the full original input and uh, put the full like big text all input and test and we see like it did succeed like the regex worked fine uh, if I set an unexisting pattern reboot required five test all steps uh, test and it is like it's failing to find this keyword but since we introduced like the backup like what to do if it fails let's reset to the zero so it's like um, quite aggressive but very efficient way and if you ask me like who which method takes less juice uh, JSON path or regex uh, my answer is I don't know <laughs> maybe it depends on the input uh, like how big is the input if it's one megabyte um, yeah my, my, my opinion right now maybe the regex is is uh, requiring like less um, CPU to kind of blindly seek for that keyword with the JSON path um, yeah that, that's my opinion if you have 
some thoughts on, on this, like which is more efficient, JSON path or regex? Uh, put some arguments in the comments down below. Okay, uh, I see the re operating system has been rebooted. Maybe the problem goes away. Let's see. Desktop, this is the client, problems. Oh yes, I was lucky. Uh, so the problem indeed g g uh, went away. And let's see like how that reg re um, registry entry looks while there is no reboot required. Uh, to do so, what I will do, click here, latest uh, data, click, and uh, this is the input. Okay. Uh, actually, it's fetching every five seconds. That will be quite aggressive. Let's filter out as uh, last occurrence reboot re, reboot yeah reboot required and we see it's the f the last match is here in in this timestamp and one match up after the reboot it's missing like and it's done like the reboot was successful um, if I connect to my Windows client then uh, it is um, here. Um, yeah, um, the reboot on the system tray is not begging anymore, uh, so it's job done. Uh, yeah, the last best practice tip, like don't forget to uh, switch off the history. So we would need to open the templates, items, and kind of remove the data storage here. Do not store history and set it like maybe one, I don't know, in real life, I think five minutes uh, could be enough to like deliver those. Uh, uh, it was it was looking around one kilobyte of data. It, it's still quite a lot like one kilobyte for this such monitoring. Um, so every five minutes uh, from my point of view could be enough. And um, then the last step, the very last step is clearing the historical data, clear history and trends, click. And now uh, when we explore latest data, then uh, so the textual data is never saved anymore. And every five minutes, it will fetch that registry. If that reboot required pops up, then it will generate the alert, like, please restart me. That is everything for this video, like querying registry, quite exciting topic, I would say. Um, yeah. Um, if you find this uh, video useful, uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, also, in this uh, uh, there is a in this YouTube channel uh, there is a playlist. If you are kind of a Windows fanboy or Windows uh, fan lady, uh, there is a playlist which talks about all the excitement uh, Zabbix <laughs> versus Windows. Uh, so don't forget to check that playlist. And um, yeah, give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching.